So now we're going to start talking about section 7.1 percents sales tax and discount and I just want to take a few more minutes to review uh, converting between fractions, decimals, and percents. Before we can work problems involving personal finance, we need to review how to convert between fractions, decimals, and percents. As an aid, we'll be using our calculator. So remember, by hand, if I'm converting a fraction to a decimal, I need to divide. Take the denominator, divide the numerator. On the TI-35XS, I'm just going to type the fraction and hit that double arrow key and then press enter. So if I go to our workbook, it's on page 101, and my first fraction, let me clear the screen here, is 5 eighths. So I'm going to type that fraction. When I hit enter, it doesn't do anything. It just gives me a fraction back. So next to the 3 key, I hit that double arrow key. And there's my decimal, 0 0.625. You should know how to do that by hand. But in this chapter, I need you to be able to do this very quickly. So I want you using your calculator. Let's look at 1B. Clear the screen. Uh, sorry for the glare on the calculator. So I'm going to enter the mixed number. So now to enter a mixed number, you look at the fraction key and right above it, in green, you've got your mixed number key. So you're going to hit the second key and the fraction key. And that gives you three spots to put in your number. So you can put the five here, that's the whole number. Hit your right arrow key to get up in the numerator. Hit the down arrow key to get down the denominator. I'm going to hit the right arrow key to get out. I'm going to hit that double arrow key next to the 3 key, and then enter. So it'd be 5.155. So again, in this chapter, please use your calculator to do that. We need you to get these quickly. <clears throat> All right, so let's talk about converting a decimal to a fraction. <clears throat> if you're doing it by hand, you're going to write the number without the decimal point on top and a 1 followed by the number of zeros equal to the number of digits to the right of the decimal point on the bottom. And then you're going to reduce the lowest terms. On our calculator, we're going to type the decimal and hit the double arrow key and then press enter. So if I've got 0 0.35, let me clear my screen, I'm going to type in 0 0.35, hit that double arrow key right next to the 3 key, hit enter. 7 over 20. So not only was it right for a fraction for me, it also has already reduced it to the lowest terms. Let's go 5.065. Hit the double arrow key, enter. <clears throat> now it's going to give me as an improper fraction. If they ask you to write it as a mixed number, look at your fraction key on your calculator to the right. You have your times 10 the end key. And above it, that's going to allow you to convert an improper fraction to a mixed number. So we hit the second key, then times 10 to the end key, <clears throat> and then hit enter. So that'd be 5 and 13 over 200. And for that, you're just going to have to look at My Labs Plus. If they want the answer as an improper fraction, you're going to write the first one. As a mixed number, you're going to write the second one as your answer. Now, we need to next talk about converting a percent to a fraction. So if you have P percent, you can put P over 100. 
or likewise you can do P divided by 100. <clears throat> so if I have 56 percent, I can write that as 56 over 100. And now I'm going to make the calculator do the work. So that reduces to 14 over 25. Now here's the nice thing. I can even add our decimals here. So I'm going to hit my fraction key. I'm going to literally type 235.6. Down arrow put 100. Enter. Now it gave me two decimal, that's okay. I can hit my double arrow key and it'll convert into a fraction. So it'll be 589 over 250. Again, if I need a mixed number, I hit that second times 10 the end key. Be 2 and 89 over 250. So again, it's going to depend which form they want in my labs plus. Now for C, notice what I can do here. I can do my fraction key. I can then do second my times, oops, wrong key, sorry. So let me try to get a fraction key and then second fraction key. So let me run through that again. I hit my fraction key first. Then I hit my second fraction key. And that's going to allow me to put that 13 and 1 third in the numerator. And I can put my 100 in the denominator. Hit enter. 2 over 15. Now, if we need to go in the opposite direction, converting a fraction to a percent, we're just going to multiply it by 100%. So if I have five, uh, 3 and 5 sixteenths, just type in <coughs> second fraction key, 3, 5 sixteenths. And I'm going to times it by 100. And now again, kind of depending on what they want in my labs plus. More than likely, at the very least, they're going to want to write this as a mixed number. So that'd be 331 and 1 fourth percent. Or if we do it as a decimal, here our double arrow key, 331.25%. Very rarely are they going to write a percent as an improper fraction. So for B, we got 11 over 12. So I'm going to do my fraction, 11 over 12. And then we're going to multiply that by 100. <clears throat> Again, normally they're not going to want an improper fraction for a percentage. So we're going to do second times 10 to the N key. So that would be 91 and 2 thirds percent in my double arrow key and be 91.6 uh, repeating. In that last place the calculator is rounded off. There's a 6 after that keeps on going so it's rounded off to 7 but we're going to leave as 91.6 repeating. Now my labs plus they might tell you 
to round off. If that's the case, you just round off to the appropriate uh, place value. Now to convert percent to a decimal, you divide the percent by 100. What I like to do is I like again to think about money. If I have 57 cents, I'm going to move the decimal point over two places and rewrite that as $57. So if I have 765 cents, that would be 7.65 dollars. So 765 percent is 7.65. So I'm just moving my decimal point over two places to left. Here I'm going to do the same thing. Finally, we're going to talk about converting a decimal to a percent. Well, instead of going to the left, you're going to move your decimal point two places to the right. And again, you can think about the analogy with money. If 0 0.56 dollars equals 56 cents, then 0 0.56 equals 56 percent. Again, thinking the dollars is our decimal and the percent is our cent. So, go ahead and do the problem on page uh, 102. So, I'm changing this percent. I'm going to move it two places to the right. That becomes 90%. And here's move it two places to the right. That becomes 954.8%.